Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video and for today's video I'm actually going to be setting up quite a bit of things as well as checking in for week one of my March monthly budget. I'm really excited because this month I'm going to be using nothing but my stickers which is something that is super super nice that I can make my own stickers and I'm able to show you guys in these videos. I know a lot of you guys have been loving how I've been showing all of my stickers that I do offer in my Etsy shop. Every time I come out with stickers or have stickers in my Etsy shop, I want to go ahead and show them to you guys so you guys know how they look on the planner and from there see if you guys want to buy them or not. So like I mentioned, all these stickers are going to be mine. I'm going to be setting up my new expense little tracker and I actually did make a poll on Instagram. So if you guys are not following me on my Instagram, my at name is at Romina Plants. And I do go ahead and give you guys like sneak peeks and ask you for advice and questions and stuff like that. So this week I did ask you guys which compliment card you guys wanted me to use as my little expense key here so i had these two but the one that won was the blue one which i absolutely love this one just says don't ever look back the future is always forward which i think is super important especially for this whole budget system or just budgets in general because you have to realize that just because let's say you didn't do so well in one month once a whole month begins that is another chance for you guys to get your savings up or to pay a little bit more of debt or to spend less so I really do like this quote so thank you to everybody who chose it so next I'm just going to go ahead and get this Erin Condren coil clip I actually just got this from a pack that came with my life planner so I'm going to go ahead and just cut it to the size of this and then I'm going to go ahead and clip it right here so let me do that really quick so actually before I do that I'm going to go ahead and take all of my expense stickers so these expense stickers I do like you guys know offer these in my Etsy sticker shop. So I'm going to put, these are the, just the colors that I chose, but I do have 12 different colors to choose from. So I'm not 100% sure what each color is going to be just yet, but I definitely wanted to use this teal color. You guys have definitely been loving this teal color and I wanted to go ahead and add it as one of my trackers because it's so beautiful. Then I'll take the purple, and the yellow. So for today I'm setting this up as well as I'm going to be setting up my weekly check-in spread with you guys. So I'm going to be taking this pen. I've been using this pen non-stop. I really, really like it. This is just from Villa Beautiful. So I think I really like how I've been using the red from Budgeted. So that's what I'm going to use it for still. Okay. And this is just a little key that I make. And I just pop in here to not only save a space, but to also let me know what my stickers even mean. So I think it's really nice. And these are just compliment cards that also do come whenever you purchase an Erin Condren life planner or you can just buy a pack of these I believe I saw them um, online so we have them budgeted then I think I'm going to keep the pink ones as food then I don't know if I should do the blue one gas I kind of want to change it I think I'm going to make the teal ones shopping And the purple ones are going to be gas. And the yellow ones are going to be my other category. Okay, so those are the five sort of categories that I'm going to be having for my key. So like I mentioned, I do have quite a lot of other colors that you can choose from. But these are just the ones that I'm going to be choosing for, I don't know if I'm going, maybe I'll change it next month, who knows. But I think for now, I really like all those colors. Let me go ahead and quickly, I didn't realize how thick these were, but here we are. Okay, so I'm going to take this out of here. And I made it so it fit pretty good, I think. Yeah, it's good with me. Yeah, that way it doesn't like come out so now you just take this is the only thing that's hard with nails okay got it okay so then i'm gonna put it right here so i want it like this okay so i'm going to put it right here okay 
So there is my little key. So you guys can see super fast. And now I can go ahead and put it right up here. So that's just how the little key works. And you guys probably noticed, I don't know if you have, but I usually, for the past, I've had um, a bill sort of little expense tracker. But since I do have my bill due stickers, I went ahead and just not made that a category because I really don't need it. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to set up my weekly check-in spread. So that spread, I usually do it right after my budget. So right here. I do have my weekly check-in sticker kit as well as my washi kit and I have been using the scribbles. I was thinking of maybe even using the other pattern that I have which is the plaid one but I think I've already committed way too much with the scribbles print um, but I definitely think that one's really beautiful as well. You guys really seem to like that plaid so I might do that for my May so stay tuned for that. What I'm going to be doing now is take a piece of washi and this is just how I do it. Of course, you don't have to use the washi if you guys don't want or you guys could. It's all personal preference like I always say. So, okay, just like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my weekly check-in script sticker. Is that good? I think that's good. Okay, now I'm going to take my week one and I am going to just be setting it all up right now. Just so I don't have to worry about it in the next couple of weeks. Like that. And then I do have these little page flags which I really like to put under each week just to mark um, which days I am going to be including within the weeks. And I do that just so I don't get confused with what I'm tracking each week. Obviously you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I am going to do that. So then I do just have four categories here. So one, two, three, four. Page flag. I think you guys are always amazed at how I put stickers down with my nails and I'm not gonna lie I am amazed sometimes too. <laughs> it's not the easiest thing but I think I've had enough practice that for, by this point I can really I really got it down or I think I do. Sometimes it does get a little bit hard but it's definitely not impossible. Page flag. Okay. Then week four. And my weekly check in does come with five of these little headers. But let's say you don't have five weeks during the month, or because I know we all track our weeks differently. So I went ahead and gave you the option to just have the weeks printed within the headers or you can go ahead and just put the little script sticker. So as you guys can see, let's say you only have four weeks, you can go ahead and just put the results sticker on top of week five and either put it on all the other ones or just on that one. It's just personal preference once again. So I'm going to go ahead and check out the monthly view to see what I'm going to do with that this month. So one, two, three, four. There and then my last page flag. Okay, right there. So then at the bottom, I am going to take some thin washi, and I have this one left from the other time, so I'm going to use that. It's the same exact print as the thick washi here. So one, two, three, four, and that perfectly fits right here. Okay, so I have my weeks right there and let me go ahead and check out my monthly view to see what I want to do. I think it will work out though with five weeks. Let me see. Okay, 
Yes, because I actually get paid one, two, three, four, five times this month. I think that's the most we've, I'm going to get paid because in April, sorry, these are stickers that I put um, for the pictures for my sticker listings. Let's see, my first week is going to end here. It's just going to be the first three days, but I do have a lot to show you guys in this video, which is why I wanted to go ahead and just make those three days. Then two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think the five will work for this month just because there's so many days. So yeah, I think I'll go ahead and leave it like that. So I'm going to go ahead and now um, put sort of when my weeks are going to be. So, so I don't flip back and forth. I'm just going to look at the month on my phone. So for week one, we're going to be looking at the first through the 3rd. Then week two is going to be the 4th through the 10th. I think I am going to go, yeah. And then one, two, one, two, one, two, yes. And then week three is going to be from the 11th until the 17th. I am going to be um, ending it on the Sundays. And then week four is going to be the 18th until the 24th and week five is going to be the rest of the days which is the 25th until the 31st yes okay so that's going to be my weeks and how i'm separating them now i'm going to put my categories really quickly which are just going to be food gas shopping and budgeted so let me do that really quick So I went ahead and made my lines. Not the most perfect lines you've ever seen, but you know, that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the pen dry. So now I'm going to go ahead and just weekly check in. I have not put anything for my food, but I do have my cash envelopes here, which as you guys know, I have been using ever since last month. So I have them right here. And I want to go ahead and show you guys one quick little thing. If you guys would have seen yesterday's video, which was actually my February budget results, then you guys would know that I actually rolled over all of my cash envelope cash to this month. So this is something new that I'm going to be trying out on my channel. Just so you guys can see if it works for me or if you guys want to go ahead and try it out as well. I'm going to show you guys how that looks in my cash envelope for the new month so as you guys can see on the first of the month i hadn't put the date i put a rollover as the description and then i added 24 dollars, which was what i had left over for last month and that made my balance go from 80 dollars to 104 so then i'm going to go ahead and also just put down all of my little expense stickers so as you guys saw this is my beauty envelope and i did end up going to get my nails done on the second which was saturday and that was actually 40 dollars because it was a full set so i didn't get a fill i just went ahead and took out the nails that i had before and just got um, a full set so then that brought me down to 64 dollars so i'm going to go ahead and get my little expense stickers and you guys know that i do group some of my categories so beauty does go as shopping so i'm going to put nails and that was forty dollars so that was for that for beauty and then for my allowance i did end up using um so you guys can see i messed up because i thought it was gas the gas envelope because this is what i use for the gas envelope so that's why there's white out everywhere but as you guys see i rolled over 37 dollars which brought me from 80 to 117 and then i did use my allowance for parking on this on saturday which was which was $11, so that brought me down to 106 So that is for my allowance, so that is classified as shopping as well. I went ahead and paid it with my allowance because I didn't want to go ahead and take out money from, let's say, my gas envelope 
and I went ahead and paid for the parking that day. If you guys don't know, I actually went to go celebrate my birthday in downtown LA with my friends and cousins. And oh my god, you guys, I don't even want to talk about that night. Let me tell you, I'm not a drinker, like, at all. I don't really, like, drink. But since it was my birthday celebration, everybody was buying me drinks. So you guys probably know how that ended up. But yeah, so I'm going to put parking. So the only thing that I paid for that evening was for the parking. I didn't end up paying anything for drinks at all, which was, I guess, a good and bad thing at the same time. So that was $11. So that's classified as shopping because it's coming from my allowance. If you guys don't really get all of this, I do explain this basically every single weekly check-in. So if you guys still have questions, you can go ahead and just comment down below and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Then for my gas envelope, which is right here. Oh, maybe I should have shown you the cash, huh? Okay, yeah, I'm going to show you guys the cash because I know you guys like to see that. So I had 64 for my beauty envelope. So you have 20, 40, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4. Sorry, I know, I know a couple of you guys said that you guys really liked when I counted the cash. So there it is. And then we, my allowance, I had 106. So for that, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 5, 6. Okay. Then for my gas envelope, I didn't talk about this yet. Um, I rolled over $33, so I'm at $133. But then I did end up pumping gas that same day, and I spent $40, so that brought me down to $93. So I'm going to count the cash first and then track it. So... 93, so I should have 93, so 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3. There we go. So then for my gas sticker, I'm using the purple one. So let me write that down. That was $40. There we go. And then for my eating out, I rolled over $2, which means that I went from 80 to 82. And I haven't gone out to eat out, which is crazy. So I'm probably going to go this week. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 1, 2. So that's 82 right there. So nothing for that. And then last but not least, we have my groceries, which I use this envelope for that this month. And I just went ahead and rolled over the $3, so that went, brought it from $100 to $103. So let me count that. So we have $50, $70, $90, $100, $1, 2, 3, sorry, $103. Okay, so for this, I haven't gone grocery shopping, which I probably am going to go pretty soon. I've just been super busy, and I've been having to clean my house a lot just because my dad's birthday party is happening this weekend, so everything has to be clean. <laughs> Okay, so let me go ahead and put all of these stickers where you're supposed to go. So gas, I believe I pumped on the first day, which was Friday. And if you guys have not checked out these stickers in my shop, they actually do fit the monthly view boxes perfectly. Then I know nails, that was on Saturday. So put that there, and parking was on Saturday as well. One other thing that I do want to put in here because I did pay it the first of the month is in other categories. So I don't have a cash envelope for that because this is not something that I weekly check in because it's basically just one-time things. So anything that's one-time things, I just classify them as other. And as you guys can see, I did budget for my ID renewal. I budgeted $40, but that ended up being a little bit less. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my expense tracker as well. I'm just not going to weekly check it. So I'm going to put ID renewal. And that was actually $36. So I did, so I actually was going all around <laughs> carrying my passport with my ID just in case they wouldn't let me go inside the bar on Saturday. So that I'm playing on the first. Okay. 
so just like that and I don't have anything for Sunday but this is the week that I'm tracking so from the first through the third as you guys saw so we can go ahead and now move on to the weekly check-in like I mentioned I do group some of my cash envelopes together so things like groceries and eating out those are classified as the food expenses gas has its own category because i can't group that with anything else and for shopping beauty and allowance are both included in that so my remainings are going to be both of these um, categories in one so let's go ahead and get started first and foremost i'm going to start with food so as you guys saw for food so as you guys saw, I don't have anything for food. The food is the pink little sticker. So I'm going to put $0 right here. And that means that I have remaining 82 plus 103. So I'm going to go ahead and just add that. 82 plus 103 is 185. So I have 185 remaining on both those cash envelopes which is really good then next we have gas and for gas I did pump once like we saw my cash envelope so that was $40 I'm going to go ahead and just quickly check it off as I'm going so for gas I spent $40 so that means that I have $93 remaining And next for shopping, I did make two. I paid for parking, as you guys saw, and I got my nails done. I'm sorry if I'm like a little bit too far. So I paid for parking that night and I got my nails done. So that's 11 plus 40, so 51 in total. So that means that I have 106 plus 64. I believe that's 170. Let's double check. So we have 106 plus 64. Yes, 170. So in total we have 170. And then for unbudgeted, as you guys saw from my key here, that is my red sticker and I don't have any of them this week. So we can go ahead and put zero and just a dash here because I don't budget my unbudgeted category. So that's basically it for that. One last thing, last but not least, the co last couple of stickers that I do want to add here are my cute little payday and no spend stickers. So for this week, from the first through the third, I didn't spend anything on Sunday. And most of the reason was because I couldn't even get out of bed, guys. It was the worst, the worst thing ever. <laughs> so no spend on the third, but I did get paid on the second. I was thinking of just putting it on all of them, but I think it would just be nice to lay down the sticker every week. So that's my no spend and my paydays. And both of those are available on my Etsy shop as well. So then I'm going to go ahead and just bring you back here. I'm going to go ahead and roll over the cash. And the reason why I wanted to go ahead and do that in the first place is because I want to go ahead and start a savings challenge. If you guys follow the Budget Mom on Instagram, then you guys will know she started this whole savings challenge for the month of March, which is basically taking $20 out of your cash envelopes. It can be from one cash envelope or from various cash envelopes. Um to create sort of this $20 Friday savings. I actually, just by doing the weekly check-in right now, just totally forgot <laughs> to do it. So I think I'm going to just fix that really quick. I think I'm going to do that. Yes, just because I do wanna go ahead and take $20 out of either one of my cash envelopes that I have extra money or a combination of all five and put that money towards debt just to help me reach that $1,000 goal that I have to pay my debt this month so I am going to be taking it out for this month out of my allowance and I think I'm going to take it out of out of my allowance because I think I should be good with that considering because I have 106 and I rolled over $37 from last month so I think I should be a-okay with that so see this is 
the perfect reason why I got these correction tapes. <laughs> they come really handy. So I'm actually going to take $20 from here. So as you guys can see, I'm putting it to the side. And she does have, I believe, some sort of envelope. I'm not, I think she has it in her free resource library. I'm not 100% sure, but I didn't print it right now. But if it, it's free, I'll go ahead and link it down below. As well as I'll have the envelope with me to show you guys next weekly check-in. So I'm going to go ahead and put an extra sticker right here because I'm supposed to be taking it out on Fridays. I know I didn't take out on exactly Friday, but better late than never. So that's going to be for shopping because I'm taking it out of my allowance. So I'm putting, so I'm going to put $20 Fridays. Yes, and then with that, I'll know that it's for the savings challenge. I think it's really good that I could start the savings challenge because obviously I will be saving money and not spending it because since I have the cash envelopes, I'll know that I won't have, let's say, any extra money to spend, but only the money that I have in them. So that's a really nice thing to do. So, yes, wish me luck with this challenge. I know $20, that's going to be $100 if I end up doing that, which I do plan on doing that. So that's really going to limit my spending even more. So I hope you guys are proud of me. <laughs> okay, so that's $20 added to what I had put here. So let's go ahead and just add those together. So 20 plus 11 plus 40, that's $71. So $71. I'm so glad that I remembered this on camera because otherwise this would have been so funny. Okay. So then we had, so then I'm going to put the first, even though it's something there, but that's okay. So I'll put $20 Friday minus $20. So that means that I'm at $86 here. So 86 plus my 64, that brings me to 150. Okay, so these are my numbers and what I have remaining for the next couple of weeks. So I think I'm doing pretty good. I really, oh my God, I have no clue why I wrote another money sign. <laughs> That's so funny, guys. Okay. Okay, there you go. So that's pretty much all that I have to show you guys for this video. I'm pretty sure this one's already a long one. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I think I should be good with the money remaining, but I really hope that I can do well in the savings challenge because that would just mean that that's a hundred extra dollars towards my goal of one thousand dollars to pay towards debt. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. As always, I will leave a link to everything that I use down below from my Erin Condren planner, which if you guys have not realized or do not know, this is actually the deluxe monthly planner by Erin Condren. As well as I'll have a link to my Etsy shop where you can shop all the stickers that I showed you guys in this video as well as my other budget videos. You guys already know. Shameless plug in here. But, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. And tap on that notification bell just so you guys can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.